Solar panel manufacturers in Europe say the sector is facing an existential challenge from heavily subsidized Chinese competitors. According to insiders, Chinese solar panel manufacturers have a near monopoly on the sector, and if no measures are taken, Europe's industry could collapse within months. European manufacturers have asked the European Commission for emergency aid, including the purchase of accumulated stock to provide liquidity. So China has been subsidizing their industry for more than a decade. Uh, they took a strategic decision for more than like 15 years ago that they saw PV as a uh, yeah, strategic technology. They have done so in other areas such as uh, e electrical vehicles and batteries, etc. Lower prices elsewhere have made several companies decide to relocate outside of the continent, whilst others have made staff redundant. Para luchar contra la feroz competencia china y evitar caer en la bancarrota, fábricas como esta, Solarge, en Países Bajos se han tenido que adaptar e innovar muchísimo más. Por ejemplo, creando este panel solar, que es mucho más ligero que los habituales y se puede instalar en tejados que no soportan el peso. But even for those innovators, the situation could soon become untenable. If it takes one or two years. A lot of companies, and also us, we will see some impact, definitely, with having to go down with, with price levels and being less competitive and uh, profitable. Chinese competition not only endangers companies, but also could affect Europe's industrial independence. A module produced in China is about 50% cheaper than one made in Europe. Meanwhile, European producers account for only 3% of the EU market. In the medium term, the EU has two directives almost finalized that could reduce competition. The first would require 40% of the clean technologies installed in the EU to be manufactured here as well. The second would prohibit the sale in the EU of products made with forced labor, something that happens in several areas of China. The European Commission has not yet announced any emergency measures and is still assessing the situation. It's important that the solar market in Europe keeps growing because we're still not at the levels that we need to reach the 2030 targets. So any industrial strategy for the manufacturing needs to make sure that it doesn't impact negatively the continued growth of the European solar markets. Striking the right balance is essential for the EU. Solar energy is one of the cheapest and easiest to install, so rapid deployment could make a difference in meeting climate targets. By 2030, 42.5% of all EU energy will have to come from renewable sources.